Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy Tactics walkthrough. <laughs> uh, this is our third battle in a row here at the... Kaliri? Underground? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be the first floor. What am I doing here? Pimping out Rafa with, uh, with an item command. Again, not sure at all why I, uh, I even was bringing her with. But that's okay. Ooh, Phoenix down there. Okay. Oh, Orlando's a knight. Ah, okay. <clears throat> I guess uh, I must have learned all of the abilities that I wanted to with. Uh, Orlando in his uh, basic job class. Yeah, yeah, he's all he's completely pimped out. All right, so what do we got going on here? Ah, I see, I see, I see. All right, I wanted to get him sped up a bit. And uh, you know the the good thing about his holy swordsman um, job is it's got that job actually has uh, access to an insane amount of different equipment. It's it's really weird. Uh, and I, I could just, again, it goes with his kind of like overall overpowered, um, I don't know, just everything about the guy is overpowered. It's crazy. Uh, so, like I said, I don't know, that, uh, it's kind of neat, but, um, at the same time, I, I almost wonder if Square didn't go a little overboard with that class. Uh, so it can obviously equip like you know the swords the the um knight swords uh obviously they can even equip the thief hat there which is more like, like just a regular hat instead of just the heavy armor so it's uh gosh and if i remember right it, he can even equip like samurai swords and stuff so again really really strange uh that they gave him such good gear uh, options but uh, again I guess if they were they were like hey let's make one character ridiculously overpowered and we'll call him Orlando okay oh man this one oh my gosh all right so we've got a couple of dragons in this uh, battle here and they can be absolutely brutal uh, if I remember right here, I ended up doing this, uh, this is my second time. Uh, the first time did not go so well. I think I had, uh, I think I had a death and, uh, no way to revive that character, so. I ended up having to do this over. Uh, one thing I want to point out is this is actually another battle where you're able to get a Yoribo, uh, monster. And uh, so if you haven't recruited it from the FNAF River, uh, you may want to now. Um, you know, and that, again, that's the, the big reason for that is if you want to poach them. Um, they've got uh, an insanely good selection of helmets for the females. Uh, the, um, I believe the, the first tier Yoribo, uh has the Kachusha as a... Uh, rare poach. Uh, I think it's like a maiden's kiss or whatever it's, is its regular poach, which is actually pretty lame. Uh, but then it's second tier. I want to say is the... Gosh. I want to say the Chantage, but I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't make that claim because I don't remember. Um, and then the third tier um, monster, and I forget the name of that one. Uh, I think. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's the Wild Bow. Has the... Um, the ribbon as its common poach which again I in my opinion is the best female helmet in the entire game uh, it prevents every single status effect and then its rare poach is actually the FS bag which I think is garbage but um, I actually did poach to the point where I got one of them and I guess it's, it's because I wanted to get one of them so let me check actually here with the, the second tier of the Yoribo enemies have here. Let's see here. Uh, we 
obviously have to look at these lists online because I can never remember. Well, I shouldn't say never, but I have problems remembering some uh, poaches. Okay, so the Porky is the second tier Yuriba, and it does have the Chantage. So the Chantage is its, uh, is its common poach, which obviously is insane. It's insane that that's a common poach. That's uh, one of the best items in the entire game. And um, its rare poach is actually the Negro Rock, which he, if you notice there, before we started this battle, I actually had three of them in my inventory. Um, so what I did there is I either poached that many and got that lucky, or uh, or I probably, uh, or I, I should say I might have duplicated those. Uh, and I'm not sure which method I used to actually obtain that many, but... Um, the dragons here, let me check the, uh, the poach list on these guys. I know the dragons are usually pretty good to, uh, to poach. Alright, so, it's common as the, the cashmere, and that's, a, a cloth for dancers. Uh, and then it's rare as the dragon rod. Um, I don't, I'll be completely honest, I don't feel like either of those two items are all that fantastic, but... Um, if you're if you're trying to get those items at this point in the game, um, go right ahead. I uh, I don't believe you'll ever run across uh, enemy dancers. But that being said, I think ninjas can throw that. Uh, I don't remember though, um, but I feel like they can throw it. Um, and <clears throat> so if that's the case, if you if you want to try to get one that way, you know, go right ahead. Um, that's that's not really usually what I do being that it's the common poach of the two I usually just uh, You know poach a couple of these blue dragons and call it a day um, And then uh, as far as the dragon rod, I know those are obtainable later on in the game uh, from from some enemies in the storyline battles, but I Don't know to be honest. I, I don't like to wait to get that kind of stuff So, you know, I would probably just poach enough of these dragons to get one of them and then duplicate them. Uh, the, uh, but to be honest, the dragon rod is not that great. There's nothing, nothing really fancy about it. So uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily worry about uh, trying to get too many of them. <coughs> but uh, here I am going to go, and unfortunately, um, and I don't, know, I don't know that this was that great of an idea, but I went out of my way here to try to poach these blue dragons, but uh, again, I don't know. I don't know if it was really that great of an idea or not. Alright. Oh, oops. I must have forgotten to equip him. Yeah, I forgot to equip him with a, a backup skill set uh, when I changed his job back to Holy Swordsman. Which, uh, by the way, so for Orlando, uh, my final setup with him uh, was actually, you know, obviously him and his his, uh, his base job, the Holy Swordsman. And then I went with, uh, like, the secondary skill set. I went with the battle skill. And uh, I really only learned, uh, I think it was, like, speed break with him, uh, with that uh, knight job. Uh, and then I went with the two swords ability on him, you know, and then, like, speed save and movement plus three. So... Uh, he's incredibly mobile, um, you know, able to restore his health with a bunch of the, the different, or I should say with, um, with Knight Sword. Um, and then with his two swords there, I went with actually the Chaos Blade in his main hand. That's a Knight Sword. Uh, best one in the game. And it's, an, it's absolutely insane. Um, it can, it can randomly petrify your enemies as well as, uh, it actually has the, uh, the re regeneration effect always active on it. Um, so, and again, the, the attack power on it is insanely high. And then for his uh, offhand, uh, or whatever, however you want to say that, I actually equipped him with a Excalibur. A uh, reason for that is because it gives uh, permanent haste. So, uh, you know, I felt like that was a really, really good setup, and I really enjoyed it. So, um, it takes a little bit of time, unfortunately, to get to that point. Uh, obviously, you need to train him as a ninja. And uh, spend enough time to get that 900, I believe it's 900 uh, JP to get two swords. But uh, again, I feel like it's it's totally worth it. <laughs> I love this dragon. I uh, I revived it with a phoenix down, and then he just one shots Mustadio, the, the character that revived him. So good stuff there. I felt like he kind of deserved it. Boom. Knocking on all my characters. All right, so let's go. Let's get this guy poached. Boom! All right, there's 
the first one down. I don't know why Beowulf always uses Prey Faith. That, that ability is not that great. But whatever. All right, so we're almost out of time here. I believe I'm going to end this with, uh, with Ramza poaching the final dragon, and we'll call it a day for this, uh, this battle. But uh, otherwise, uh, as always, I hope this guide was helpful, and I uh, hope you join me for more. All right, thanks for watching.